Hello, Barry Rogers here, and I want to give you a very quick walkthrough and explain how to use the Magic Kindle formatter. Uh, this will get your ebook ready formatted, ready for submission to Kindle. It's very, very simple to use, and it's just basically a load of questions that you have to answer, and then it makes your product for you in the right format. So, first of all, when you activate the product with your activation key, you'll see a screen like this. So, we'll close this down. You have a maximum of 12 chapters to work with. So, you'll see, as soon as we start, we get the first question it's asking us. And if you look down at the bottom here, you'll see hints about what you're supposed to do if you need any direction. Just have a look down here. So, enter the title of your book first. So, your book is already written, I'm guessing, by this stage. So, um, I've got some text here that I'm going to use. You just basically copy that and paste it in. That's the, the title. And then you can click on Next here, but if you're typing, you can click Page Down on your keyboard, which might be easier for you if you're typing, saves you having to go to the mouse all the time. Next thing, it's author name. I'll just type this one in. And click Next. Enter the publication date. Uh, this is for the copyright page, and I quite like it in this sort of format. So let's um, paste that in. And next is a question. How many chapters do you want in your book? Okay, um, You can have up to 12. This is not including the credit section at the end. That's there by default. This is just actual chapters of the book. And for this demonstration, keeping it short, I'm just going to pick two. And I'll show you exactly what happens. Okay, So we click Next, having made that choice. And it asks us, asks us for the Chapter 1 title. So um, I've got one pre-written here. So copy that, paste it in, and click Next. Now it wants the text. Now you'll see down here that if you want paragraph breaks, which you most likely will in a book, then you can put these in wherever you want a paragraph break. So in this first chapter, I'm going to just um, not do it, so you'll see how it comes out without them, okay? So we'll copy that, and we'll paste that in. So I'm not going to put anything in there, I'm just going to leave that as it is. Next, it's asking for Chapter 2 title, and we bring up the file again, here we are. Chapter 2, let's copy that, paste it in. Next, Chapter 2 text, and this time, I will put that page break in, at, uh, line break in rather, to make a paragraph. So we'll copy that in, and here we all we do is we go one of those, BR, one of those again going the other way, one of those, slash, BR, and one of those going the other way. And it's as simple as that. And once you've done one there, what you can do is you can copy it, okay, and then you can just go through your text and see where you want a paragraph. Um, you'll see that as I've pasted it in, the paragraphs will be fairly obvious. Okay, but um, I'm going to stick another one just here and just paste it in there. So you can put them in as you go through. It doesn't take long to do that uh, through a chapter. In fact, you could do it knowing that you're going to be doing, using this tool. You could do it when you write the book. Um, okay, so next, because we only chose two chapters, it's going to now jump straight to the credits section. Now, if we had chose three chapters, it would go to the third chapter and we'd do the same again and so on for however many chapters. But because we only chose two chapters, it's taken us now to the back end, which is the last two pages. Now, I've put this in as default here, credits, but you can call it what you want. Um, you could call it thanks or about the author. Um, it could be um, a glossary, it could be anything, depends what sort of book you're writing actually. It could be um, basically a dedication even. Um, and then next, again, it's asking for the text. So we just can copy that again and we'll put that in there. And we'll put that line break in there. Okay, and we're done. Okay, all we have to do now is hit finish and um, it will show us our work. Now it's asking us where we want this to go. Um, now I've made one here called my book so I'm going to put it in there and click OK. 
and it will start saving. It's already done it, and it opens up the document um, where it is. So let's just leave that for a moment. It's saying here, do you want to save the file before finishing? Um, and this is always a good idea to, to, to click yes, because then if you want to make just brief changes to it, you can load it back up in the software by clicking file, you can't do it at the moment, uh, clicking file and load the project. So you can load it up as a project again, just in case it hasn't, you've made a mistake and you don't want to have to go through the whole process again. So I'm going to say yes, and I've got um, on my desktop saved projects, and I'm going to save it into there. And I'm going to call it um, project one. Okay, we're about done. Now, when we look at this file, when we look at this file, and we open it up in a browser, you can see that it is completely um, added what we've put in. That's the, uh, the book title is there. Um, my name, uh, the book title again, my name again, the date we put in, and it added my name into the um, copyright disclaimer there. It's made a table of contents, and these are all clickable. Okay, um, there's my first paragraph title, my first chapter title rather, and you'll see that that has just come out as a block of text. In chapter two, if you remember, we've put those breaks in, those tags in, and it's made them into paragraphs. And then the thanks at the end. Okay, so we can click on here, and it will take us straight down to it. And this is exactly what Kindle wants for the format of the book. Okay, so that's it. Job done. Thanks for watching.